Hi everyone, this is a very special pick a card reading for what's coming in 2020. This is actually a pick a teapot. So we have these really beautiful, stunning teapots and they're actually from my dad's collection and you know he actually suggested that this would be really beautiful for one of these readings and I just felt so uplifted to do that and they're so so beautiful so whichever you know teapot you are most drawn to that's going to be the one for you and we have these three really stunning teapots I can't stop looking at them so you know have a little think, see which one you know you feel most drawn to, and then we of course are going to do the reading. So timestamps for each of these readings will be down below. We have teapot one, teapot two, and teapot three. So timestamps, as I mentioned, will be in the description box below. Also in the description box below will be information for private paid readings if you are interested in booking a reading with me. The other thing is I'm also doing a giveaway every single month for a free reading so that will also be down below in the description box below if you'd like to know you know how you can win. Very simple to enter and finally as well I have my bracelets which are on Etsy they are super affordable they are spiritually charged they are meditated with they are sage they are handmade by me. And they are on my Etsy, so a link to my Etsy will be down below. And they are there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas in your life. So for example, for this particular reading, I'm actually wearing the protection bracelet. Not the protection. What am I even saying? I am wearing the good luck bracelet, right? And this is actually to protect you as well. And I'm also wearing the wealth bracelet here as well. So this is there to boost these elements in your life as well. All right, and they are tie-on bracelets. You can tie them on, you don't have to worry about them. You can swim in them, you can shower in them, go to the gym in them, sleep in them. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm honestly just so thrilled that so many of you are seeing results with these bracelets. And if you are interested in them, of course, they will be in the description box below. I wanted to make them as affordable as I could. And yeah, so let's start with this reading. Teapot one, two, three, timestamps down below. Let's get started. So first of all, I'm just gonna move all of these cards out of the way. All right. So group number one, let's have a look and see what's coming for you in 2020 with this stunning teapot, so, so beautiful. And yes, they do also function as well. They are stunning, as you can see. All right, so I'm just going to put that there, nice in the frame. And I'm going to be using the Kawaii Tarot for your reading today. So I've already put them, I've already shuffled them and then put them into the pile. So the first card here is Justice. Wow. Then we have here the Two of Wands. We have the Page of Wands. We also have the Hierophant. Chariot. I'm just going to put them a little bit further down. There we go. And then we also have the Two of Pentacles. Wow. You know, this new decade for you in 2020 is bringing a lot of opportunities. These opportunities are shown with the two of wands, you know, it's all about options. So if you, you know, whatever's going on right now in your life, just know that 2020 is bringing you fresh ideas, opportunities, it's bringing you options to choose from, you're not going to be restricted in 2020. That is the most beautiful thing. And the other thing is that, you know, with these opportunities, you're going to get a lot of ideas, as I mentioned, it's also going to boost your creativity and it's going to bring you money. We see that with the Two of Pentacles, this is about money. I'm also seeing love here as well, which is really interconnected to this element of the Two of Pentacles because it's showing, especially, especially in my mind, it's showing two. So I'm seeing love as well, especially with that um, Hierophant card. You know, Hierophant is ruled by Taurus. It's about stability, security, commitment, which is, of course, linked to that Earth energy of that Two of Pentacles as well. So I'm seeing money for you in 2020. I'm seeing you having a lot of opportunities to earn that money. But I'm also seeing a lot of ideas, ways to branch out in different things, 
uh, ways to, you know, also I'm seeing friendships is something really coming through, especially with that page of wands, it's showing friendships, it's really showing a sense of you feeling stable with these twos that we see, and stable with the justice card, two of wands is about balance, two of pentacles is also about balance, and then the justice card is also about balance, it's ruled by Libra, and <laughs> Libra has this, you know, it's all about the scales, it's all about finding resolutions to problems, that's what I'm seeing in 2020, is you're going to be able to find resolutions to problems and struggles and challenges that you may face, no year is 100% perfect for anybody, I mean they can be really great and things like that, but there's going to be a difficult day here and there, what I'm seeing is that in this year 2020 you are going to be able to resolve issues resolve problems you're going to be able to really sit in your power and feel good about things and you know that hierophant it's giving you that knowledge you're going to have a lot of knowledge a lot you're just going to have a lot of ideas but you're also going it's almost like you're going to be learning a lot as well throughout this year and i'm seeing traveling as well you know the chariot here is about travel it's about forward movement and progression it's about getting what you want in a situation and i'm really seeing that overall in all areas of your life it's looking really balanced balance is the key here you know it, that that's the beauty of it and i'm also seeing you know there's a lot of stars as well that we're seeing we've got two stars there we've got three stars here it's really about you know things being nice and balanced for you and you feeling good about your situation feeling like things are unfolding in a really beautiful way that's also what i'm seeing and it's really uplifting to be able to genuinely see that in front of my eyes for you so that is what i'm seeing for 2020 and this is your reading and if this resonates with you then let me know in the comment section below don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also don't forget to check out the description box below for information on private paid readings free reading giveaway and of course my bracelets which are on etsy if you are interested in purchasing those and i hope you all have an absolutely lovely day now i'm going to move on to group number two Right, so group number two, let's have a look and see what is coming for you <laughs> in 2020. My very bad rhyming skills, but I tried. Okay, so we have this absolutely gorgeous teapot. So, so beautiful. Let's do a 360. Okay, and I am using for your reading today the Kawaii Tarot cards, just in case you're wondering, because I get a lot of comments on the cards that I use. Okay, so your first card, actually, don't be scared of this, because I know that it can be really overwhelming sometimes, just looking at the rest of the cards, just to get a sense of the energy. Yeah, don't worry about this particular card. Ten of Swords. Remember, the Ten of Swords is about endings, right? What I'm seeing is that somewhere in 2020, you are going to feel good, because you know what? Yes, we have that Ten of Swords, but we also have the Ten of Cups look at that. So what I'm seeing is that there's going to be something that makes you feel so much better, right? The Ten of Swords is about some form of pain. Now what I'm actually seeing as well is that this pain can be pain that you are dealing with in 2019 that gets resolved in 2020. I'm specifically seeing that. So I'm seeing that in 2020, you are going to feel so much happier. You're going to feel emotionally much more balanced. You're not going to be as hurt anymore. And you are going to feel good. This is about 2020 being a brand new beginning, being much better for you, you feeling happier, you feeling stronger, and you not feeling that sense of pain continuously. This is about you feeling really good, really, really good. I mean, we've got this three of cups here. Now, this three of cups also suggests friendships and gatherings. 
And it really does show as well in terms of career. Now, this Three of Cups can also signify things like love triangles, um, you know, third party situations. But what I'm specifically seeing in this particular spread is that this Three of Cups is about celebration and being able to share it with others. So, um, you know, making friends or having a bigger friend circle. This is also about celebrating things and also in terms of your career it's about co-workers and getting along with people so this three is actually very positive very very positive now for some of you you may be dealing with a love triangle but what I am seeing is that it's not going to be something that's going to let's say hurt you to the point where you don't know what to do especially not with the cards that I also previously saw before I put them before I started doing the spread here, because I don't look at the cards before I put them in the piles, that's what I meant, but, you know, obviously just before I started doing this particular reading, I did look at the cards to get an energy feel, so that I could, you know, tell you about this Ten of Swords. So, that's what I'm seeing, is that this Three of Cups is not negative negative, it's not a negative Nancy card, it is very much so showing you that 2020 is going to be much more positive than 2019. Okay, and then we also have the Knight of Pentacles, there we go. That's the reason why. Because I am seeing in 2020 you are going to have love and I'm not really seeing this for a lot of people. Now this can occur for some people but what I am seeing is that it will get resolved. I'm also seeing that for the majority of you there's not going to be a love triangle which is why I also see this card as a, um, a victory, celebration, success card, sharing happiness and joy with other people. Knight of Pentacles is about stability, security, it's also about getting commitment and that's what I see in terms of love. But also in regards to career, this is about opportunities, this is about promotions, this is about you going to that next level. And I feel like it's all intertied, where I feel like love and career are going to be very hand in hand and very strong together. That's what I'm seeing. I'm just going to do a six card spread, so I'm just going to move the Knight of Pentacles at the top. Now we also have the moon here. Don't be fooled by this moon. The moon here is showing that anything that you perhaps looked over in 2019, you are going to very much so be much more aware. Now, it's not going to be, you know, um, something that's going to drain you emotionally. It's going to be you acknowledging your emotions, acknowledging yourself. Perhaps there were situations, you know, even in 2019 where you ignored your emotions for the sake of others. This is about you in 2020 acknowledging yourself first before you acknowledge others. That is powerful. It's just showing that this phase, this cycle, remember the moon is about cycles and phases, that this cycle and this phase in regards to your life, right? 2020 is a new cycle. It is beautiful. It is something that is going to make you feel uplifted. It's going to feel so, so good because it's going to feel like a new cycle. It's not going to feel like the same old, same old, if you know what I mean. Seven of Cups here is about thinking and reflecting. So I really do feel that 2020 is a, a year of growth. It is a, an immense year of growth. And don't be scared of growth. Growth is what makes us stronger. Growth is also what attracts more towards us. We have that Ten of Cups. It shows that the growth that you're going to go through in terms of reflecting on your emotions, reflecting on things that have gone on. We've got the moon twice here. This is about you putting focus on yourself. You will receive abundance. You have that Ten of Cups. You are putting pain in the past. You're putting worries in the past. Ten is a cycle completed. And this is about you in 2020 looking forward to all of the beautiful things coming, but also acknowledging yourself. And when you do that, the universe just triples the abundance. It really does. And it's funny I said triple because we got that Three of Cups there. This Three of Cups is a positive card, you know, it is. For some of you, yes, there can be love triangles and things like that. What I am seeing is that for the majority of you, though, this is a very, very positive card. But even if you are in a love triangle or there's a third party situation, just know that it will be resolved. Especially with that Ten of Swords because you're going to be feeling like that Ten of Cups. Because that Ten of Swords was the first card, you know, on the pile. And then we moved on to the rest. So it's just showing the progression of energies. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Group number two. This is a year of true growth for you. True, true growth. And this is beautiful because as you go on throughout the years, you are going to feel so much more uplifted. You're going to feel like things are just progressing for you and you're going to feel good, right? So that is what I'm seeing. Whew, wow. 
So if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also, thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed. And do, of course, check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, the free reading giveaway that I'm also running, and of course, my bracelets will be linked down below. There'll be a link to my Etsy, so if you are interested in those, the links, you know, absolutely everything will be down below. And I hope you have a lovely day. And now I'm going to move on to group number three. Take care, everyone. All right, so group number three, let's have a look and see, right, what is coming for you in 2020? Whew, wow, a brand new decade. And I just wanna show you this teacup. So, so, so beautiful. Do a little spin, very pretty. I'm gonna actually just leave it in the frame like so. The sun is also coming out as well. I'm sorry for the lighting changing, I use natural light. And the thing is, I live in the UK, so it's cloudy, sunny, cloudy, rainy, sunny. It, it changes on a minute-by-minute -minute basis. And I'm also using the cute kawaii tarot cards. So let's begin. Three of Pentacles as your first card. Wow. Judgment. Ace of Cups. There are some big decisions you're going to be making in 2020, and these are going to be big um, decisions in terms of, I'm just going to give examples just so that you can grasp a scale in terms of what kind of decisions these are. These are decisions in terms of, you know, buying a house. This is a decision in terms of buying a car. Uh, decisions in terms of perhaps, you know, moving jobs. That can be a big decision too. So I just want you to understand the scale of what I am seeing in terms of big decisions. But these big decisions are actually beautiful because it's showing abundance, it's showing emotional satisfaction, it's showing joy. I'm also seeing with this Three of Pentacles, it's also about teamwork and collaboration. It's also about, you know, working with people and working with your ideas rather than against it. So that's really what I'm seeing. But judgment here shows that there are some big decisions. This can also be in regards to love as well, but this can be, you know, bigger decisions like, for example, marriage, engagement, you know, taking that step forward with somebody and being exclusive. So that's what I'm seeing is that there are big decisions coming through with career, with love, and also in general, you know, your home, that, that kind of thing. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing now with judgment. There are lots of decisions that are going to be made in 2020 that are going to be life-changing for the positive element. That's what I'm seeing. Ace of Cups there is all about joy, happiness. It's about love. It's about feeling good, you know, the heart chakra really just being elevated and feeling like your wishes are coming true. So that's also being shown through with the Three of Pentacles. Then we have here the Four of Swords star card and the queen of cups this is a year where your wishes are going to come true i didn't even see that star card because i was so busy talking about that three of um the three the three of pentacles and of course that four of swords was on on top so i didn't even see that star card but i just knew you know wishes coming true so that star card is showing wishes coming true it's about you feeling really good star card is also about healing and feeling much more positive the queen of cups is about feeling emotionally really really good positive happy it's about self acceptance this Four of Swords is exactly that. The Four of Swords is about resting, retreating, taking time for yourself, taking space for yourself, understanding yourself, you know, meditating, doing different forms of mindfulness. That's really what's coming through, not battling with yourself. This is about, you know, just hanging up those swords and taking time for yourself. So it's really showing that, you know, if you have had difficult, challenging times, this is about healing from those things and then feeling really good but then in 2020, I am seeing big decisions, decisions that have been your wish for a while. And this wish really does depend on your wish because everyone's going to be different. But I'm seeing whatever wish you have in your mind, 
in regards to your life. That's what's coming through because career-wise, money-wise, love-wise, things are looking really good, especially also with, you know, matters of the home. Things are looking very, very good in 2020. This is about, in 2020, it's about you manifesting your wishes, your dreams, and your goals. It's also about earning more money as well, and also being on the radar. That's what I'm seeing. This is about you having that crown on your head, but also understanding your emotions and not trying to fight yourself and your emotions. This is about you being proud of who you are, accepting yourself and loving yourself as well. This is about you first and foremost committing to yourself and also having something really strong in regards to love. That's also what's coming through with that Ace of Cups. So that is something you can look forward to if you're not already in love. But wow, wishes coming true in 2020 for sure. So this is your reading group number three and if you found that this resonated with your situation let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed, it means so much to me and don't forget to check out the description box below for information on private paid readings the free reading giveaway, and of course my bracelets which are on Etsy, so the link to everything, all the information will be in the description box below, and I will see you all very, very soon. Take care, have a lovely day, or night, wherever you are. Bye!